Fauzu billahi min ash-shaytanir racim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Atiyullah tiya rasul wa ulul amri minkum and always a reminder for myself, ana abdukul ajisu da'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us this life to accompany His pious servants and which to take us into an ocean of hidayat and guidance and whom Allah guides, He rightly guides and grants for them in their guidance, waliyun murshidun that a guide, a murshid who is also uh, has wilayat and sainthood by their actions, by their amal and by their knowledges and by the immense love of Sayyidina Muhammad And it's a mercy from the Divine to give somebody towards that guidance. And those whom distance themselves from awliya, they distance themselves from God's mercy because of the immensity of lights, the immensity of blessings that flowing upon these souls because of their proximity to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And the knowledges are of an elite reality. There are knowledges that people understand from Qur'an in the level of Furqan. They understand the right and wrong and these are the three realities of Holy Qur'an that Allah makes reference to Qur'an as a furqan which is a criteria for right and wrong. And there's a level called Qur'an in which the book and the Arab messenger is mixed. Means there has to be an overwhelming love for Sayyidina Muhammad in which he occupies the soul, he occupies the heart of that individual in which they, they love him more than they love themselves means that love is, is contained within the heart. So that servant has more of their love for Muhammadun Rasulullah than love for themselves and they continuously attempt and try to keep that state in which to think what would Prophet want from them. And only in that state when they read… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The book of Allah it opens the reality of from Qaf to the Noon which is a Nur. They speak the, the uncreated words of Allah mixed in the light and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and that becomes Qur'an al-Majeed and that becomes the reality of the light of Qur'an al-Majeed. And then Allah makes reference to Ummul Kitab. Um is between Alif and Mim and that there is nobody between Alif and Mim and this is in the world of light, in the world of light and the world of Malakut and what revealed to the heart of Prophet from the oceans of La ilaha illallah and that is dispensed according to how Prophet wants to give to those souls that swim within his holy heart and in the proximity of that ishq and the love because all their teaching is the world of light. If by the world of form you bring yourself close to Medina that's alhamdulillah that's very beatific but that's very limited. 
But the infinite capacity is to bring your soul into His Holy Presence in which your soul with love and good actions, good character has an infinite capacity of, Qawb ba Qawseyni o Adana. And that's what Allah wanted to give to the nation that it's not the physicality that's important that the reality of La ilaha illallah, how close is it to Muhammadun Rasulullah From all the way to the Ha of Allah Alif Lam Lam Ha touches Mim of Muhammadun Rasulullah and Allah is then given for us, you can inherit to that. Only through love, only through your heart and your soul entering into that light to be in the proximity of Muhammadun Rasulullah like a Qawb ba Qawseyni wa Adana. The so near but nobody can be in that oneness of Prophet that his is wahid that that uniqueness of Sayyidina Muhammad is completely unique. That's why no companion achieved that rank, there's no awliya who can achieve that rank. That's the, the constant and the gift that Allah gave to the reality of the light of Prophet that you can come close but you cannot enter into its completeness because the light of Prophet is ever expanding and moving towards the direction of La ilaha illallah means the immensities of these lights. Then this is the knowledge of ashiqeen, so different. People come and tune in and say, where's this coming from? This is coming from the world of light that the 99% of people are only familiar with the people of form and their tafsir and understanding of Qur'an according to form and it has its barakah and its blessings, its tabarak. But its reality was nowhere matched and nowhere met. And on this night as we're drawing to the end of the fourth month and the secrets of Surat Yaseen, inshaAllah Allah has many titles for Sayyidina Muhammad One of such is Dhikrullah and the dhikr, the dhikr of Allah especially in reference to Surat Yaseen when Allah mentioning to people about the dhikr. <clears throat> Remember that the people whom translate, <clears throat> for those whom are not of an Arab background and fluent in Arabic because most of them won't believe what we're teaching anyways. But the ones whom are reading from translations whether Urdu or English, you're reading somebody's opinion. And many times they take the words and translate it according to how they like. That's why many hadiths are not transliterated where non-Arabs can read the actual Arabic word and deduce its reasoning. You have to listen to the interpretation of that person telling you what this Arabic means. Hence many things are lost in translation based upon the, the level of that person translating. And many things are covered and something else is put into its place. So on this level dhikrullah they keep making reference to the message of Allah And that has a barakah to read it and say the message of Allah obey the message of Allah follow the message of Allah But in this way of marifah the dhikr of Allah is a name for Sayyidina Muhammad For what, what is the benefit of a message if not for love of the messenger who brought it? And a message we said before can be sent in a tainted cup in which you think it's Qur'an but the person and the personality of the person is fasiq and corrupt. That's why you had many of these, these scholars from other regions that what we call Wahhabis and interpretation very false. But they're giving Qur'an which is uh, the immense and majestic lights of Allah's holy speech. So it's not only the message that's important, 
But it's the beauty and the purification of the Messenger that delivers the complete package that Allah had intended for creation. When they negate the importance of the Messenger then people be lost thinking it's just the message, it doesn't matter who's telling you about the Qur'an, anybody tells you the Qur'an there you go. But that's incorrect that this highlight of dhikrullah and the dhikr of Allah is a reference to ashiqeen of Sayyidina Muhammad InshaAllah we'll go to Surat Al Yaseen verse 11, Shaykh, not too slow but uh, medium speed please. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنما تنظر من اتبع الذكر وخشي الرحمن بالغيب فبشره بمغفرة وأجر كريم صدق الله العلي العظيم صدق الله العظيم ملك رسول كريم in this way of Marifa Allah is giving to us is a station of khawas, these elite servants that you can only warn the one whom follows. Means that this message won't be applicable, this understanding and this teaching won't be applicable for people who don't have this level of love and ishq for Sayyidina Muhammad you are go, you won't, they're going to say something different. Allah is directing them, don't bother yourself that this reality is, is not for them. And this reality Allah is asking then the next word, ittaba from ittiba, from atiullah, atiya rasul, ulul amri minkum, teaching awliyaullah that your life is ihtiba, is to follow and obediently follow and Allah then gives this honourable title to the reality of Prophet dhikr. Itabihu dhikr. How, how then can you follow a message but you don't follow the messenger? You would become corrupt because you would interpret what that message means, you would understand, oh this sunnah is not necessary, I don't need to cover my head, I don't need to do this, I'm following the message of Allah you're incorrect. These ashiqeen they understood that the dhikr of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad and the, uh, the immense following, the immense love and with all their heart their life is to follow, to be obedient to the Messenger of Allah with this, no, this noble title that Allah gives to them. Wa khashiya rahman that their heart has a fear and khushiya because this is now a description of these people whom follow the dhikr of Allah they understood that this remembrance of Allah and literally is the zikr of Allah because what is the zikr of Allah Never Allah in Qur'an says that my zikr is Allah but said, in Allahi wa malaikatuhu yusalloon ala nabi That's enough, Ya Ayyuhul Ladina Amanu, that's for you people if you want to or not. But the zikr that Allah gives to us an immense secret that the zikr, that which Allah is continuously putting out for power, Allah is saying that Allah, verily Allah and His angels, their zikr is upon Sayyidina Muhammad It's the secret of the power of the universe. That Allah's immense and holy praise is upon this reality and as a result it is the zikr of Allah it's the secret of dhikr and remembrance because our remembrance Allah is not talking about in this. Allah is talking to Prophet Qur'an is a dialogue and a gift from Allah to Sayyidina Muhammad And from Sayyidina Muhammad is a gift out to creation. But its origin and its original purpose 
is a direction to Prophet and all his haqqaiqs and realities and all power of Allah directing upon the reality of Muhammad and Rasulullah Khashiyah Rahman bil Ghaib means that in their heart they have a trembling because they have an immense taqwa and as a result they have a khushiyah. They have such a softness because of the, the fear and the consciousness they have of Allah that granted them the oceans of sincerity. Bil Ghaib that, that Naqshbandiya's operation is based on that. Means that when people come to the centers and see the shaykhs, they're thinking, oh, we're gonna see like somebody praying for hours, praying like for 40 minutes, and they'll all be standing in, in lines and not moving and having immense sincerity in their salah. No, this is all uh, circus show. Allah is directing, no khashya bil rahman bil ghaib, that what they do and what they fear is completely hidden from people, not for the sake of a nafs. They don't want the ego to take any share in their activity and their love for Allah It's very important for people when they come to centers and Naqshbandi centers, they're looking for something. But Allah is giving us the guidance in Ayat al kareem no, no, these people they have an immense itibah, they follow the dhikr of Allah they follow the reality and the guidance of Sayyidina Muhammad and their characteristics is they have a khushya rahman, they have an immense fear. As a result their hearts have a trembling and softness for this reality of Allah the might and majesty of Allah and it's all in their hidden time. They pray in, in sincerity. They meditate in sincerity and in front of people very common, sometimes even looks like it's faster because they're worried that people are going to lose their distraction and concentration. But the immensity of, of the ibadah that Allah is now clarifying for us that they follow the dhikr, don't bother warning other people, they don't have that. They're not from that level, they are believing that they're, they're following Allah's holy words and they speak a lot about Allah and they, they make a lot of dhikr of Allah, 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 Allah or they don't do any dhikr at all, they recite Qur'an a lot, that's a tabarak and blessing. But it's not this category in which they understood the dhikr of Allah and they understood the immense reality that Allah is putting upon these ashaqeen that when you love whom I love and you love the reality of Prophet the softness in your character, the reality of your character that you found that I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known, they found the treasure of Allah within the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah and as a result they are moving deep into that. Then what Allah describes in Surat Al-Inshira, Surat Al-Inshira is the verses of the opening of the heart and the cracking open of, of a heart transplant. That the first heart transplant that was given was when Sayyidina Jibreel came onto this earth visited Sayyidina Muhammad as a youth and say that he went behind somewhere, took Prophet with him, opened his chest, washed his heart from a dunya reality and placed within it its risalat and its immense Divinely reality. And Prophet described that event that Sayyidina Jibreel came and opened my heart, opened my chest took out my heart, washed it from a reality and placed it back in. And many awliya have had spiritual experiences in which Allah changed their heart, in which they see within their heart written, Rasulullah and they have a Muhammadan heart within their being. And what Allah describes in Surat Al-Inshira, and Inshira is the opening of the heart. وَرَفَهْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَاكَ 
wa rafahna laka dhikrak that we have raised your remembrance. Who raised it and for who? Me and you? There's nothing that we can do to raise that reality of Prophet But our whole life has to be based on this tashrif. The, the beatific reality of our existence is for what? Amongst these awliya they came into our lives and taught us the highest gift is that make your life for the tashrif of Prophet that Allah is hinting and teaching to them in this hidden way and understanding of Qur'an, wa rafahna laka dhikrak. We have raised your dhikr throughout all of creation and universes. Who know it? The unseen. They hear it, they know it, the angels know it, they know the tasbih and the dhikr that Allah has given to them. And Allah is confirming for the mulk and the people of form that you don't know yet but you'll know when you pass away that rafahna laka dhikrak how we raised the remembrance of Sayyidina Muhammad means that awliyaullah come and teach you the subject of this sentence because the tafsirs they tried to hide the subject matter, rafahna laka dhikrak, oh, oh, who's rafahna, oh, who's dhikr? Or who are we talking about? They say instead of him they put it. Why is it? But awliyaullah come to, to remind you, no, no the subject of this discussion is Prophet All of Surah Yaseen is the heart of Qur'an, is the name of Prophet The entire subject matter is about Prophet Surah Al-Inshira is about the event of the opening of the heart of Prophet and then Allah is saying, rafahna laka dhikrak, not for this dunya but for entire eternity. Your name is raised that its, its, its reality can never be understood. But for those whom come towards ishq and muhabbat they busy themselves with salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad which is the dhikr of Allah and in its salawat is a zikr of Allah because you have to say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, Allahumma means that Allah is, is teaching for them, don't come to me without bringing in the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Never overtake your imam, never overtake your imam, stand in guard behind your commander never in front. Means the commander of the faithful, the king of all believers, your place is behind, never to the side and never in front. And as a result they knew their position and they stood by it. As a result Allah opened for them, they make Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah is pleased because it's the dhikr of Allah and it's the dhikr of Sayyidina Muhammad the salawat and praise and praying upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad because to know him, to love him and to respect him is to love Allah because it's the hidden treasure. So now Surah Al Yaseen, we'll go to verse 69, inshaAllah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem, bismillahir rahmanir raheem. Wa ma allamnahu ash-shi'ra wa ma yanbaghi lahu in huwa illa dhikru wa qur'anun mubeen. Sadaqallahu al-aliyyul azeem. This is the end. The secret of Surat Al Yaseen, this is the immense reality of Surat Al Yaseen in which Allah these knowledges they unlock your soul. One who negates what we're teaching then you negate the power and the secret of Ayatul Kareem, you can unlock a reality and tabarak and blessing no problem. Anything you recite from Allah is immensely powerful but those 
whom coming on the way of marifa, every knowledge that the shaykhs are giving are keys. Those whom follow them, they're picking up when they're writing, this is a key, this is a key. Khashya Rahman bil ghaib, this is a key. They follow the dhikr of Allah is Prophet Every time they, they see the dhikr they know that this is a reference to Sayyidina Muhammad By means of that ayah and that knowledge they can unlock into it and go a, deep, a deeper level into that cavity. Like there are people whom are traversing one level of the highway, when you have a key what happens? At this point of the highway you unlock and go now on a super path. You're at a much higher understanding and now your highway is going at a higher level. And you go, you go, you go all the way to where Allah is then clarifying this reality of Prophet is definitely not share, it's not poetry. This has nothing to do with you know beautiful and rhythmic sounds and poetry. Allah is giving in the huwa, huwa. From this state of who, from qul hu, Allahu ahad, the one whom speaking qul hu is Allah's is saying qul to who, making reference there's one speaking, one being spoken to. Here Allah inna huwa dhikrun wa Qur'an and mubeen. Again the subject is Prophet Allah is making reference to us that He is in the huwa dhikrun, that He is the remembrance, He is the remembrance and the zikr, the messenger and the message wa Qur'an in mubeen and that He is manifesting the Holy Qur'an. And that the Qur'an is manifesting from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah's not created words is manifesting through His creation which doesn't make sense, shouldn't be possible and this is Allah the one who makes all physics, makes all sciences and allows what cannot be happening to be happening. That He is the remembrance and that He is the manifestation of Holy Qur'an in the huwa dhikrun wa Qur'an in mubeen. That's why awliya come back and describe for us the Prophet is the kitab of Allah That Allah alam al-Qur'an khalaq al-insan is a description of what Allah created Prophet and how many ancient years between alam al-Qur'an to khalaq al-insan? Because Qur'an says it doesn't mean it happened in five minutes. Alam al-Qur'an is when Allah created the light of Prophet to come into existence by qul, merely says it and it happens. And at that instant Allah alam al-Qur'an means all of Allah's Divinely speeches entered into the reality of Prophet Alama fi shadeed al-quwwa, Surat al-Najm Allah again is teaching, He has been one who's been taught by someone immense in power, Alamahu fi shadeed al-quwwa means the immensity of these powers. As a result from that holy soul is emanating manzal Qur'an, the house of the Qur'an is the soul of Prophet How can one respect the Qur'an but not respect the Messenger? How can one elevate the Qur'an but not elevate the vehicle and the container which is bringing to you because they want to bring that down and put themselves in its place? I'll teach you the Qur'an, don't worry. No but you're a filthy container and Allah's purified words can only be in His most purified vessel. If the, the, if the words are liquid gold, the vessel and the container has to be of a liquid gold reality. Anything else is of a much lesser understanding and reality. 
But because Ashiqeen have this immense love Allah opens for them this way of marifah to understand the subject matter of the discussion. When Allah loves the servant He expands the subject matter that which you're reading its subject is about Prophet the one whom is the dhikr of Allah, the remembrance throughout the heavens that all they hear within the heavens, Allahumma, Allahumma, Allahumma. Everything in the heavens is a praising upon that reality. Everything in the heavens is made from the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah If it's made from that light it must be in the salawat of Prophet as a result Allah is then teaching, it's my power and my dhikr that keeping that light to be sustained. If not for my dhikr, not for my qudra and power that light of Muhammadun Rasulullah which is all your created universes cease to exist. And that's what Allah is going, you sabbihu wa bi bihamdi that Allah is praising through that Divinely praise that Muhammadun light is in existence and that Prophet's dhikr is making everything within that ocean to rise and manifest. The immensities of these lights and these realities we pray that Allah address us from the secrets of Surah Al Yaseen and the ishq and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad It's a bit deep for people to understand, they don't have to understand. They just have to know that a, a secret was deposited within their heart and that they have a key for a day that they need that key and uh, need to open that key. And that, that reality and that ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad to be present within them. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa Abba Siddha Surat al-Fatiha As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.